take Chin and Bai the lottery ticket? No way, those things never work. But I really have a gut feeling that I'm gonna win this time. Well, you shouldn't always trust your gut, you know. But why? Well, I'll show you. The Monty Hall problem is a mathematical brain teaser based on the classic game show Let's Make a Deal, and named after its host, Monty Hall. Look at that stud. The original problem uses two goats and a car, but for our experiment, we'll be using two Ida Crown aces and an RZJHS tiger. Yeah! The problem goes as such. Suppose you're on a game show and you're given a choice of three doors. Behind one door is a tiger and behind two doors are aces. You pick, say, door number one, and the host, who knows what's behind the doors, opens, say, door number three, which has an ace. He then gives you the option to switch your answer to number two. So, should you stick with your gut choice or switch your answer? We took it to the halls of RZJHS to find out. Under one of these cups is an RZJHS tiger, and under two of them are Ida Crown aces. This is cup one, two, three. So you're gonna pick a cup, but don't open it. So which cup? One. Two. I'm gonna pick this one. You're gonna choose cup number three. Yeah. I pick this one, number one. Because RZ in his dad is number one. Mm -hmm. Cup number two. Number six. Three. I choose cup number one. Sam, choose the cup. Two. Two. One. Two. Okay. No, no! <laughs> okay, you're choosing cup number two. Number two. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick it up! <laughs> two. Okay, so I'm gonna lift up cup number one, and there's an ace. That's good. Yeah, that's good for you. Well, under cup number one is an ace. Well, under cup number one is an ace. Well, under cup number three is an ace. Under cup number one is an ace. Now, I'm going to show you what's under cup number three. Knowing this, you want to switch to cup number one or keep it at cup number two? Uh, I'll keep it at two. I think I'm going to stay with number one. Stay at number three. I'll stay with my answer. Oh. Keep it. Keep it at number one. I'm going to keep it at cup number three. Keep it at cup number three. I'm going to keep it at number two because, yeah, I'm going to keep it at number two. This also has an ace. Ooh. And this one has the tiger. I let down my CJ here. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. You get an ace. Oh, no. Oh, under yours is an ace. If you would have switched, it would have been a tiger. God damn it. I had a crown ace. Well, under that was an ace. If you would have switched it, you would have gotten the tiger. It's okay. math. If you would have switched, you would have gotten it. But under yours is the ace. Yeah. So under your cup was an ace. Oh, that isn't fair. Yeah, if you switched it, you would have gotten the tiger. Wow, I really screwed this one up. So, what did we learn? If you stick with your first choice, you have a one-third chance of winning the tiger. Those aren't very good odds. So most likely, you're gonna win the ace. If you would have switched your answer, you would have a two-thirds chance of winning the tiger. In fact, only four out of the 18 people that participated chose to switch their answer. Switch. Switch? Switch to cup number three. Switch? I like to switch my answer to number three. And you win the tiger! Yay! If you would have stayed, you would have gotten the ace. You are right! You switched and you won the tiger! I wonder how that worked. Oh my gosh! You won the tiger! If you would have stayed, you would have lost. Yes. Good job. Thank you. Is it better to switch? Yeah. Mathematically? Yeah, that's fine. Why? Um, like I don't get that. Well, let me explain. Most people would think that because you have two choices left, you have a 50-50 chance of winning. But this isn't true. You aren't learning anything new about the door you chose, but you are gaining new information about the door the host didn't choose. The host is the only person who knows what's behind each door, and he's always going to reveal to you the door with the ace. So would you rather stick with your random door, or the door the host purposely did not reveal? 
The general principle for the Monty Hall problem is to reevaluate probabilities as new information is uncovered. So, I guess you shouldn't always trust your gut. It's better to formulate an answer through information rather than just a random hunch.